Hello friends, I am Bipin from Smartify. First of all, I would like to thank you for trusting Smartify brand and its products for last six years. Today, I am here in front of you to present a new product under another brand name Orvai, O-R-V-A-I Orvai. So we are launching a plug, a Wi-Fi plug, 10 ampere Wi-Fi plug under the brand name Orvai. While there are hundreds of products, hundreds of uh, different smart plugs already exist in the market, what is so different about this plug? So the difference is that this plug can be controlled over LAN based API interface. So this is a DIY plug that we are launching with the open APIs to control the plug on LAN interface. You need to connect the plug to your main router, to your home router, your laptop, desktop, mobile phone, etc whosoever from wherever you want to send the api that must also be connected to the same route that is prerequisite second thing to it need to have a static ip while we do not provide a mechanism to configure the static ip into the plug but we provide the MAC address level detail where you can do the IP address binding to the MAC address in your router and assign an static IP to the plug because all the commands, all the APIs will be fired based on that IP address. Why we are launching this product? The reason is that in the last six years we have received many feedbacks, many requests from our users where they wanted to have control over their devices locally with their APIs in their environment. It can open a plethora of options for people like software programmers, trainings where you want to train the uh, students how to control the plugs over uh, over the land based APIs, IT automation, for example, you want to control your various lab equipments, IT equipments, but you also have a requirement that your device should not connect to the cloud because of the security reason, but must be controllable over the LAN interface through your own logic. For industrial automation, for example, you want to deploy something in your bank where the device cannot connect to the external interfaces or external cloud, but you want to control the appliance through your own programming logic. So the power of APIs is much more for different use cases and you can exploit these APIs to build your own magic into the plug. Now let me show you how it is done. So there are as I discussed that it requires static IP as well as it uh, you need the API documentation. All the APIs documentation is provided on orvi.com website orvi.com if you open the orvi.com you will see the tab API document over there. If you click on that, you will get all the APIs available to control it. These APIs to control the status of the plug on or add schedules into the plug, delete schedules, add its uh, setting its clock. It usually takes its clock with the internet if your router has the internet. Otherwise, you may need to set the clock manually through your APIs. It provides the power up state to restore the last state of the appliance and API key 
for the security reason that for the details you can find in the documentation. I am showing you a demo how you can simply control the plug. So first requirement is to have the MAC address of the plug so that we can do the IP address binding to the MAC address in your in our router. So each plug has its on off switch on the side. So here it's on on off switch. By default you will see the green light when it is trying to connect uh, to your router. If you press the switch for more than 5 seconds, the light will turn to the blue. That means it will go into the settings mode. In the settings mode, you can configure its Wi-Fi settings so that it can connect your router. As well as, you can uh, get the MAC address of this uh, plug. So, it's in the settings mode. When it's in the settings mode, if you go to your laptop, Wi-Fi list, you will find an extra Wi-Fi name which must be matching to the serial number of the device. Here the serial number of the device is LP111 uh, 4x0112. If we connect to this, it should connect without asking any password. Then you need to go to your browser. Here you need to type 192 dot one six eight dot four dot one when this page opens you can see the SSID the Wi-Fi name to which it will connect and the password to connect it it's already connected to our router so we are not changing here but we are noting down the MAC address MAC address is mentioned on this page we can we can press the save button so that it can be go into connection mode from the settings mode now if we enter into our router you need to go to the DSCP settings you will find those settings in the LAN interface DHCP static as you see here I have we had the IP address ECFABCAEEBC0 that was there on that page and I have assigned already assigned a static IP 192.168.1.105 so whenever it this plug will ask a DHCP address from my router, my router will always assign this particular IP address. So that means I can control this plug over this IP address 192.168.1.105. Okay, you want to add a new entry, you can do, uh, you can enter the IP address that you want to assign and the MAC address. Please note that it's asking the MAC address. Uh, without any colon so you need to remove the colon from the MAC address but it depends upon router router some router except with the colon so you enter the MAC address you enter the IP address and then the binding is created since we have already bind it to 192.168.1.05 let's see how it can be controlled over the over this IP address to the API so if you want to change the status currently as you can see here on uh, this uh, bulb is off because the play, uh, plug status is off and we want to change it to the on so we go to the we have a get status api and the set status api to change the status current status of the plug output so here if you see HTTP, your IP address and the set status and it, it's a GET API so it can be fired from your browser itself and it takes parameter API key which is not a mandatory parameter, it's an optional parameter. You will get more details about this in the documentation. The mandatory parameters is the status 
and in case of plug the SWID is your optional in case of a smart plug but mandatory as we plan to launch the smart power strip also with the similar LAN based API interface so power for power strip you need to specify uh, the switch ID the plug ID but in the smart plug since it's already one so it will take the default value one a status whether you want to switch it on or switch it off so the mandatory parameter here is the status which we need to provide so I copy from the example and I change the IP address to 105 and status to 1 as I want to switch it on and I give this command and you see my plug is on ok so this way it gives you a power to control your appliance with your own logic without any security hassles because it's not connect to any cloud so you are you can address the security concern that someone can control your device so it can be used in extreme security uh, scenarios we have the customers using this LAN based API interface using it for the secured environment where their environment like banking kind of environment does not allow to connect their devices to the external clouds ok so you can think of many more use cases where you can you want to control it yourself now I want to switch it off I change the status from 1 to 0 and then give this command again you see the plug is off if you want to get the status what is the current status whether it is on or off let's go to the documentation again here we have the get status API. I take another from the example get status. And as we were providing the switch ID in the previous example, but it's one because it only I have one switch. Uh, here I'm not providing any value for the switch ID because in the plug the default is set to one. So I just do a get status and I will get to know and I need to change my IP address to 105 and here you get the result success status 0 that means it's off. Suppose I change its status to on and now after changing its status I try to get the status. And here you see the result success status 1. 1 represents as in the documentation, 1 represents switched on state, 0 represents switched off state. So with this new product, we are opening lots of possibilities to our users, to the DIY users who can innovate further with these APIs on this product. They can build several use cases on this product and we expect that it will go a long way. Thank you very much 